Thanks to everyone who submitted their fan arts. If you have a fan art that you want to share, join my official Average Tuna Discord server. The invite link will be in the description below. You're welcome as always so you can leave anytime if you want. So let's start this spooky decoration with my favorite build hack. Before anything else, happy Halloween to all of you watching. Let me know in the comments if you're scared of ghosts because we're going to make a ghost using a white stained glass and some banners. To make the facial features of this ghost, we need a loom and a creeper face banner pattern for the face. Let's add some curves to the face using a white dye, then let's make the bottom part of the ghost. And once you're done, you can now place the banners on the white stained glass. And once you're done placing the banners, you now have a ghost decoration in Minecraft. Of course, you gotta have some decorations outside of your house, maybe a lighting. Using a skeleton skull and a lamp, you can create a skeleton skull lamp which would look perfect outside of your house for decorations. Adding as many lamps as possible makes it look even better. You can also change the skulls if you want. Before we continue building, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and complete your achievement to subscribe to my channel for a cookie. Now let's get back to building. Moving on to the next one, you guys may or may not know this but you can add a pickle on top of a pumpkin to create an actual pumpkin or to make the pumpkins look better. If you have been sub to me for a very long time, then you already know what this is. Using a respawn anchor activated by a glowstone, you can create a witch cauldron that looks magical. You can also use different types of trapdoor if you want. If you really want this witch cauldron to look more realistic, you can do this in a slab with a campfire and what's cool is you can see actual smokes coming out of that cauldron. This is not my original idea but you can create a head inside of a jar using armor stand and a steve head. You can use player heads if you want, then cover the head with a spruce planks and a stained glass. I prefer a light green color. Lastly, place the pressure plate on top as the cap and you now have a head in a jar. Same as the head, you can use a pink dyed leather helmet if you want a brain in the jar. The only difference is the block underneath making it lower. You can create an old coffin design using only spruce block and a trap door. It's kinda like a vampire coffin. I'll insert a picture so you can see. You can also use dark oak planks to create this coffin. You can also put flowers on top by replacing the spruce block using water and a slab. The coral fan will be the flowers. And lastly, you can also place them upwards if you want. Using soul soil and a lodestone, you can create a simple tombstone design. You can also use a smooth stone and a stone slab if you want. Or you can do a big tombstone by mixing smooth stone and a lodestone with a flower. You can do your own designs and you can also add a black stone tombstone as well that adds contrast and extra detail. Get a bed in a spruce trapdoor and dig 3 blocks deep. Place the bed and the trapdoors on top and you now have a coffin underground. Using zombie skull and a pickle, you can create a decoration where zombies are rising in their graves. You can also do skeletons and end rods. Credits to System Z for the idea. Halloween isn't just about the spooky and scary stops. It is all about those sweet treats and candies that really makes Halloween exciting. Here I will show you how to make a candy bowl using different colored leather helmets. 
I'm stacking up the armor stand so you can place each helmet. This is where the magic happens. Once I broke the blocks underneath, you will get this pack candy design. Now let's cover that up with birch slab. And lastly, place the birch sign around it. And you will now get this candy bowl design with candies inside for trick or treating. And that's 10 Halloween decorations to create in your world. If you want more build hacks in the future, then make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and share this video to your friends. This is Suna, signing off.